Okay, hi YouTube. I know I'm doing a quick video, and I'm actually on YouTube right now. I'm making this video. Um, I was going to show how you get your keypad or your touchpad on your Asus laptop to work again if you ever need a problem. I mean, if you ever have a problem. Now you see I'm moving it around, and. The cursor is staying in its spot. You can't do anything. No matter how if you push buttons or not. And I found videos, but none of them helped me. And I kind of figured it out on my own. Um, it's very simple. Very easy. I actually hit my computer and it hit this combination somehow. Now, this can also be useful for when you have kids around and you don't want them messing with stuff. You just disable your touchpad. All right. Um, if you ha if you can, you can always hit buttons like your um, Windows button and drag it across and try to figure out the problem. It's very simple. It's you can still go to your control panel, your device printers. You can go to all of that now. If you look, nothing on here is going to help you. And that's not exactly the right one I'm supposed to go to. I'm supposed to go to my. Actually, yeah, this is okay. Well, I'll just go back. Okay. Now, I'm on right now where it says keyboard and, and languages. This will not help you because your keyboard works. It's your touchpad, so all of that is irrelevant. Anyway. Now that I've gotten the problem fixed, let me show you the combination to get it started. F, N, and then you go to F9. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Where is it? There it is, F9. So F, N, F9. Click, and... See that touchpad enable. Now you can move it around as normal. It's actually, it'll be a little glitchy when you first do it because I'm moving it a little bit faster than it's showing. Um, well, that's pretty much all. That's how you get your Asus computer laptop back enabled, or you can disable it. Alright, bye YouTube.